It's your girl, Princella the Queen Maker, coming at you again with Adrenaline Rush. Real, raw reactions in real quick time to give us some commentary on some of this crazy stuff that's going on out here in cyberspace. If this is your first time checking me out, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're always made aware when I upload new content. So let's go ahead and jump in to what we're reacting to today. So what we're looking at here is these five cops. And the first one being Demetrius Haley. This is interesting because some new information, alleged information, has come out about Demetrius Haley. Now, before this information came out about Demetrius Haley, on my live show breaking down the police footage before this came out I did an assessment of their images and I want you to hear what I had to say about his image specifically this first one though he looked like he beat women I ain't gonna lie he do look like he beat women but the rest the other three the one the three in the middle so the new info that's come out is that Tyree Nichols happened to work at FedEx where he, the, his child's mother also worked. And due to his jealousy of his baby's mother moving on and dealing with another guy, he decided to put a hit out on Tyree utilizing his privilege of law enforcement to actually organize a gang beatdown. Now this is interesting because people constantly say that men are more logical than women and women are more emotional, yet the emotional reactions, which are always deadly, tend to come from who? Males. I'm going to show you the science behind that in just a second. But I keep telling women that males want to control and own you and that peen is a weapon to do just that. So he impregnated this woman, even though he didn't really want to be with her, right, to mark his territory like animals do, mark their territory. And since he felt like that was still his territory, even though he wasn't with her, he got upset and wanted to take out his animalistic behavior onto the male who he felt encroached upon his territory. One day you will realize that humans are mammals, animals first, and they operate like animals. And this is what you're seeing in this situation. So let's go ahead and pull up the science of this emotionalism. The scientific reason why men are more violent than women. Testosterone. The classic model of brain and sex differentiation. The fact that the intrasexual physical aggression is universally more common in men makes a strong case for a basis in biological evolution. By analogy to other mammals, Human male-to-male -male aggression is argued to have been shaped by the symmetry in sexual selection, whereby females are less available for mating due to their greater investment in reproduction through the several-year period of pregnancy and lactation. This asymmetry forces men to compete more than women for access to mates which through millennia of selection has led to their greater, their larger size, strength, 
muscularity, and physical aggressiveness. Reproduction asymmetry is also invoked to explain other psychosocial sex differences, such as greater male sex drive and promiscuity, which would favor a polygamous mating system versus greater female empathy and nurturing to promote child rearing. Aggression and empathy are the behavioral inverses of each other. So this classic explanation of gender differences purports a bifurcation whereby human brain development down to distinct sexual differentiated pathways, creating categorically different male brains versus female brains and behavioral repertoire. And there you have it, ladies. Testosterone the chemical that is naturally produced in abundance in the male and what it does, it creates aggression. It creates violence because males are in constant competition with other males for women. And because testosterone in high levels overrides the orbital frontal cortex, which is where emotions are controlled at, the male is more likely to be violent and aggressive. And this is what you have. No matter how much you try to deny it, no matter how much you try to tame it, the male at its core and at its nature is the beast in beauty in the beast. He is King Kong. And you try to tame him and then you give him power, authority, and weapons. So that way he can promote even more his male nature. If you like this commentary, be sure to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell and check me out on my live streams Friday, Central Standard Time, 9 p.m. See you soon.